Catholic Daily Mass Readings November 25, 2023 Saturday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the first book of Maccabees As King Antiochus was traversing the inland provinces, he heard that in Persia there was a city called Elimais, famous for its wealth in silver and gold, and that its temple was very rich, containing gold helmets, breastplates, and weapons, left there by Alexander, son of Philip, king of Macedon, the, king, the first king of the Greeks. He went, therefore, and tried to capture and pillage the city, but he could not do so because his plan became known to the people of the city who rose up in battle against him. So he treated and in great dismay withdraw from there to return to Babylon. While he was in Persia, a messenger brought him news that the army sent into the land of Judah had been put to flight. That Lysias had gone at first with a strong army and been driven back by the children of Israel, that they had grown strong for reason of the arms, men, and abundant possessions taken from the armies they had destroyed. They had been pulled down the abomination which he had built upon the altar in Jerusalem and that he had surrounded with high walls both the sanctuary as it had been before and the city of Beth Zur. When the king heard his news, he was struck with fear and very much shaken. Sick with grief because his designs had failed, he took to his bed. There he remained many days overwhelmed with sorrow, for he knew he was going to die. So he called in all his friends and said to them, Sleep has departed from my eyes, for my heart is sinking with anxiety. I said to myself, Into what tribulation have I come, and in what floods of sorrow am I now? Yes, I was kindly and beloved in my rule, but I now recall the evils I did in Jerusalem when I carried away all the vessels of gold and silver, and where in it, and for no cause, gave orders that the inhabitants of Judah be destroyed. I know that this is why these evils have overtaken me. And now I am dying in bitter grief in a foreign land. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. Because my enemies are turned back, overthrown and destroyed before you, you rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor shall the hope of the afflicted forever perish. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Some Sadducees, 
those who denied that there is a resurrection came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And likewise, all the seven died, died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, those wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.